well. Welcome to Kindergarten Segment on Garden Time with Amy Biggie at Allison Woodburn. And Amy, you have always given us great ideas, and now you have with big kids today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we have a potato segment. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is just a fun, easy project, great for kids or adults too. Adult kids. <laughs> Adult kids. Um, so yeah, we're going to be planting some potatoes in a bag. And oh, this is wild. a great way, yeah, if you don't have a lot of space outside for planting in the ground, this is a great way to get your own crop of potatoes at home. And so do we have to do anything special with potatoes? I see you've cut some already, so why did we already cut them? Yes, uh, it's a good idea to cut potatoes a day or two in advance so that they form a callus oh, okay. over the area you're planting. And the reason for that is it protects it from getting any disease okay. after you plant it in the ground. Um, so it's good to cut them ahead. Now, uh, you don't want to plant the potato whole. Okay. That's the other thing. Huh. You have to make sure that you have at least a couple eyes on each piece. And I, actually, it might be easier to see on these nice gourmet fingerling potatoes. Okay. Um, but you can see these little um, indents, and those are eyes oh. for the potato, and that's where the shoots will grow. Like, you can see those starting right there. Oh, interesting. So when you cut your potato, you want to make sure that you have at least one or two eyes on every piece. All right. So we're going to just go like that, and you can see that. Now, you know, I've never really had a purple potato before, so that's really interesting. Yes, it's something different, and I love this. We do this in our kids' club program because we love the purple. And uh, <laughs> these are just really fun. You can see that the inside of the potato is purple, so when they make potato chips or if they make french fries when they plant them later, you know, they'll stay <laughs> that purple color even ah, when they're baked. All right. I, so. I would have to try one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something fun. Well, and if you get the kids involved in picking out the varieties of potatoes you're planting, they're more likely to eat them and ah. experience that, so that's fun. Too. So that's what you do in your family. Yes. <laughs> yep. So what are the steps if we do a bag and not put them in a bed, which this is just a different kind of way to grow potatoes. Yes. Yeah, this is a great way. And um, what you do is you want to use potting soil okay. in the bag. You just need a black garbage bag just like this. All right. Uh, William's going to fill it about one third full. And the potting soil, the reason for that is so that it has better drainage, especially because it's in a bag. You want to make sure it has that good drainage. All right. Um, so we're going to fill that up about a third full. Thank you, William. You're very strong. Ah, very good. <laughs> there we go. That's great. Okay, so now that we're there, um, if you have your bag in the spot where you're going to leave it, mm -hmm. um, and the best place is on the side of the house, someplace where it's a little bit protected from the weather, um, but still get some sunlight, uh, you want to actually poke holes in the bottom of your bag. And oh, okay. We're going to show sense. that real quick. William can show that. A screwdriver works great for this. Um, Maybe adult supervision required sure, <laughs> to definitely. help with that. Well, and to cut the potatoes, you want to make sure that you know, there's some safety issues going on. Exactly. So that's for drainage. That way it doesn't get too waterlogged in the bag. Uh, okay. And then real simply, we're just going to, I'm going to cut these uh, a couple more times. And now we would have probably done that ahead, okay. like we said. But, um, and trees, and you're doing a wonderful job here. Yes. <laughs> um, so we're going to take our potatoes, and actually, I'll give this to William. You're going to plant them with the eyes up. So kind of spread them out a little bit. Plant with the eyes up. Now, if those move, you know, you move the bag or whatever, and they fall down, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, they'll good. probably look for the light, you know, so oh, they'll, okay. they'll turn up and come up. Um, but there we go. And you can mix varieties in the bag. That's not a problem either. Um, so there we go. We've got those in there. Um, they covered them over with soil, which is exactly what you want to do. All right. And then the most important thing, as they start to grow, you can kind of leave your bag open just like this once you put it in the spot where it's going to stay. All right. You want to make sure you water the bag first off and get it nicely watered and make sure it can drain out. And then what you're going to do is as the shoots start coming up and the plant starts growing out of the bag, you need to make sure you hill it up. And what that involves is just adding more soil to the top of the plants. Oh, and does that help get more potatoes? Um, it does, and but the biggest thing is that the potatoes will push out of the ground. Oh, and okay. if you don't keep them covered, then they become very bitter, and oh. the, the flavor is not good. Oh, okay. We don't want bitter potatoes. So no. So sense. as they keep growing, just keep hilling them up like that, oh. adding more soil to them. Well, what a great oh. project. You know, you could do that with big kids, with little kids, and you could do it as a whole family. And, you know, Al's has a great kids club, and you can go to the website and get more information about that. Yes, yeah. And, and the great thing is, in about 80 to 100 days, depending on the varieties that you're planting, you can start harvesting your potatoes. And a bag, we figure, gets about 7 to 8 pounds of potatoes. Oh, well, thanks for bringing that up. I didn't even think oh. to ask about the harvest because it's so much fun just the planting. But yeah. That's the end yeah. part. That's the good part. Well, Amy, thanks so much, and thanks very much for our helpers, Trees yeah. and Jack. <laughs> William, thank you so much.